Well, the new skills in Assassin's Creed Valhalla has a secret perk that I don't think is intended because it lets you very easily heal yourself to full health. I will tell you how to trigger this, plus I want to go way more in depth on the other amazing rev of the Druid's abilities that are a ton of fun to use. If you like that, then a like on the video would of course really help me out. And let's go. But first, the sponsor of this video, the Epic Mega Sale that is going on right now in the Epic Game Store where you can get Kingdom Hearts 3 for 33% off and you also get a $10 discount coupon for other items in the Epic Game Store. And if you buy the game before the end of the month, then you also get 3 months of Disney+. Plus. And as you might know, I made quite a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 videos when it came out. It's really a special game, especially the Pixar worlds are amazing. Toy Story was my favorite, but the other worlds are great too. And add some really cool new gameplay elements and nice upgrades for your Keyblades. Only totally, if you are a Disney or JRPG fan, I would recommend the game. It has an 84 on Metacritic. And again, on the Epic Games Store, you got a great deal right now, which also includes the Remind DLC that comes with a ton of extra content. Also nice that you can already get a $10 Epic coupon by simply signing in with your Epic Games account. And this can then be used on every game from $15 and more. So you can also use it on King. Kingdom Hearts 3. Again, check the link to the Epic Mega Sale in the video description. Thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring the video, really helps me improve the channel. And now let's get back into it. I already went in depth on the amazing smoke bomb arrow in a previous video that you can use in a ton of situations. I do wish I could revert it to rank 1, but we of course discussed that in the previous video. We'll link to it at the end of this one. Now I want to go over the other two abilities in the Wrath of the Druids DLC that are super fun to use and quite powerful too. And let's start with the Vikinger Salute. You likely already found rank 1 right over here on the map in Meath at a raiding location. And with rank 1 you just headbutt the enemies and stun them for a short bit. Rank 2 extends that animation with a knee kick and an extra headbutt stunning the enemy for longer as well. Although the window is still not really long. And you by the way find that second book of knowledge over here on the map in Ulster where you also have to go for one of the children of Danu that you actually have to kill for the main story. So totally grab it once you are there. Next to the longer stun you also deal more damage with this rank 2 version so weaker enemies that are low on health will just simply die after using this attack. Or you can also sometimes insta-kill lower health enemies with just one use of this ability. And it's overall great to use against enemies with shields because you just ignore it and can still stun them. And I also love the different animations you have when fighting larger enemies. You climb on their body, kind of like that assassinate we have. And they do like a strong headbutt of course at the end that also deals quite a lot of stun damage. It's really cool that they made different animations for these larger enemies and in the Ubisoft Bordeaux Death Diary for the DLC they show some behind the scenes looks at how this ability was created. Where instead of headbutting each other they lined the stuntmen up perfectly and synchronized the moves to then put them in the game. And I will leave a link to the dev diary in the video description so you can check it out for yourself if you want. Also good to note is that the final damage on these bigger targets is way less than on your smaller weaker enemies. So you're really mostly doing it for the stun so you can then after that nuke the stun bar and easily finish the enemies off. It's not really nice to use this ability against animals because you'll just still grab them but kick them instead and then they are down so you can like hit them but overall it's not really worth the adrenaline. It can be nice against a werewolf though like it will just perform the regular attack and then stun them after which you can do some nice damage. Still though I think it's the worst ability of the three mostly because you can also miss it. So if you like me don't really lock onto enemies you grab air and waste your adrenaline. It seems that Eivor just grabs in front of them and if you're not close or facing the target then you just miss. So locking on helps to make sure that you hit the target with the ability but I usually don't really do that so I miss way more than I want to. Oh and I also tried the attack on Steinbjorn while recording footage for the Thunderer X that was of course at Reda and yeah it's not good like you give this small kick but there's no stun or anything. Thing. So again, it's still great in some situations, but overall it's the worst out of the three new abilities. Also, you just stun one enemy, while with the Irish Wolfhound you have this companion by your side for a really long time, 
who will throw down multiple enemies so basically stun them as well for just one adrenaline bar. The Wolfhounds will be by your side for like 40 to 45 seconds when you have it on rank 2. So the first book of knowledge is over here on the map in Connacht. You also go here for a main story mission. And then the second book is over here on the map in an area you need to go to for the Children of Danu clues. So if you completed all these targets, you likely have rank 2 of this ability already, right? And again, now the Wolfhound stays longer and just nukes down every enemy you are fighting. Yes, including werewolves. So, this is why I like it way more than the Vikinger salute. Also, when there's just one enemy left over, the Irish Wolfhound will just continuously drop that enemy on the ground, creating an opening for you. And the coolest thing is that you can have both the Irish Wolfhound and the man's best friend ability from the main game active at the same time. So now it finally feels like an even fight instead of one versus many. Although the question of course is, do you really need this? Like the game is already quite easy. It's still fun though to see both animals go crazy and fight the many enemies. The Irish Wolfhound doesn't work on salads though, like he will just spawn and run away, so I'm not sure what is going on here. There's no reason to be scared, but it happens all the time against different salads too. You also cannot use it while fighting Drangir and likely during other boss encounters too, while you can summon your man's best friend. So, man's best friend is still preferable in these situations. And by the way, during this fight you see me do the left hand attack and then get full health again, because that is something you can do in Valhalla right now. I discovered it while fighting some druids, I did the left hand attack with the spear and bam I got my full health again so I was like what is going on here and well it turns out that this works with every offensive weapon sadly not with the shields because you're not like doing an attack but Every other weapon gives you health back. For the flail, it's after ending the special attack, so while doing the spin. But for most weapons, it's the moment you do the left hand attack after being hit. I'm not sure if your stamina plays a role in this, but if it doesn't work immediately, just do the left hand attack again until the health regenerates. It also doesn't work if you already got your health back a moment ago. It seems to have some sort of cooldown. So, yeah, just try it over and over again and then you will get your health back again. So I was going through my footage and I was like, okay, so when did this trigger? And first I thought it had to do with the Wrath of the Druids DLC or maybe Ireland, because that is when I discovered it. But no, I then later found out that it had to do with the brand new Intense Rage skill. Because the moment I reset it and do a left hand attack, I don't go back to full health anymore. And then when I acquire it again, I do get my health back. So, of course, this is not intentional. It's also not noted in the description. But the skill does have to do with the left hand attack. Like, it makes sure that you cannot be interrupted while performing the left hand attack. So yeah, pretty wild ride. Totally try it out if you have this skill before they change it, because I totally think they will. And when we know more about that, I will of course let you know here. So totally subscribe if you haven't already. A like on the video would of course really help me out. Check out my previous video going in depth on the smoke bomb ability. You can watch it by clicking on the screen or I will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase. You can of course send in your shots to the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter or my dedicated pictures channel on the Discord. And you can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comment. Once you are there, accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay, Joyce, your turn. The photo mode expert here on the channel. You selected three shots from the community, so which one did you pick this time? Hello, hello. First up, we've got Scuba Soldier over on Twitter who's looking out over the new Alpha Animal Arena in Ireland with Sunan on her shoulder. I love the armor combination here with a bit of Valkyrie here and the villain head on top. Also, yeah, the colorful bird skin is definitely one of my favorite Sunan skins in the game at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I totally know why and I kind of feel bad for people who missed out on it uh, during the All-Star Festival. So hopefully we get another way to get it later on. Up next is Seth from Rice over on Discord who took this stunning shot of Aver on his way to face the final enemy. And I say final because the way the silhouette is pointed out here because the heavy sun, the background and it's standing on a hill, it gives this final battle fight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Uh, already before like recording this, we fought Sigurd, but I don't think that's right. So, I don't know. But yeah, I totally get your final boss battle feeling here. And finally, we've got Van 
Christina94 over on Twitter, where <laughs> Avor's Wolfbound got curious while exploring a town and trying to make conversations with two locals. Don't know if they are waiting for it, though. I mean, the fiery stare of the wolf might be a bit intimidating, but, you know, maybe they'll offer it some ill or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't seem that, uh, like, excited about it or uh, <laughs> weird, uh, weirded out by it. So, uh, really, really cool shot. Yeah, you can also, like, show, of course, some... Uh, yeah, cool shot with a lot of humor. So send them our way and maybe you'll be in the next video. Subscribe, of course, for more Valhalla content. Check out our previous video by clicking on the screen. And for now, we will speak to you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.